from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I'm student meteorologist Ben Davenport. Hope you guys are having a lovely Thursday out there. However, it has not been that lovely. If we take a look outside at the Beaver Stadium camp, it has been rather overcast skies throughout the day and temperatures have only gotten into those lower 30s. The weather stem station is showing here that it has that it is uh, seeing sunshine right now. However, if you can take a look at the cam behind me and if you've been walking out and about, you definitely know the sun has been rather hidden today. If we take a look at the temperatures, temperatures throughout uh, the state of Pennsylvania as well. You can see that uh, spine of chill has been kind of reserved to the central portion of the state where we're only staying in the middle 30s. Off to the west, though, you can see creeping up into those 40s and even middle 40s down in Pittsburgh. And then to the south and east in the valley regions, they are getting down, in, or they are getting up into those middle 40s as well. So it's been rather chilly here in the center portion of the state. If we take this look at uh, the countrywide, you can see not much of a temperature contrast across the northern 48, as you can see mostly 30s, 40s, and only 20s as you get up into North Dakota and Minnesota. Bringing it back home, we can take a look at the radar and satellite. You can see, once again, confirming what the Beaver Stadium cam showed us. It has been a rather cloudy and overcast day as this time or this loop goes into motion. There has been some pockets of sunshine out to the west, maybe why Pittsburgh has creeped up into the lower 40s. However, though, we are going to be dealing with some more precipitation coming our way this weekend as we take a look to the Midwest. Currently, a low pressure system situated over Missouri that is bringing some rain and snow with it right now. And then, as you can see on here, we have two tracks a northerly track and a southerly track. Both are kind of estimates of what's going to be happening with this low pressure system. However, as of today, we really think this southerly track is not as likely and we are going to be following more of a northerly track with this low pressure system. What does that mean for us? That means we're going to be dealing with more rainfall and less snow with this system. So for your snowfall lovers like myself, we will cry today. And then we'll take a look at what the RPM model, this is one of the models we like to look at, is going to be saying for the system as it progresses into our region over uh, the beginning of the weekend. This is Friday at 4.30. You can see rain starting to start, or starting to begin in the west, and then it'll start to be making its way from west to east. Very slowly, though, this is as Saturday at 1 a.m. is still mainly confined to the west. However, you can see there are going to be some heavier rain bands in there. So we are going to be watching for the potential for flooding over the weekend. And then this is by Saturday at 9.30. You can see most of the heavy bands working their way into eastern Pennsylvania. So it is going to be a rather wet and soggy weekend for most and not really going to be dealing with too much uh, snowfall. As you can see on this model, we've been mostly dealing with these greens, uh, yellows, oranges, and even reds. So that indicates that we're going to be dealing with an all rain event and less snow. We'll summarize it for you here tonight. Temperatures not as cold as they have been, only getting down into the lower 30s with a light wind. For your day tomorrow, that overcast cl uh, cloud deck is going to stick around. However, temperatures should creep up closer to 40. Showers do move in overnight, and those winds will increase overnight as that low pressure system creeps closer. We'll summarize it for you on the seven day forecast. Saturday is going to be periods of rain, temperatures getting close to what they were on Friday. And then on Sunday, for you snow lovers, we are going to be dealing with maybe some lake effect snow off of Lake Erie. So definitely keep an eye out for that on your Sunday. But then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, mostly all the same days, temperatures getting into the upper 30s with a mix of sun and clouds on all three days before Thursday, that sunshine does return. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Ben Davenport. Have a great day.